Good morning. Today we're in Moab, Utah. We're here for the Bronco Rodeo that we're going to be doing today. When you purchase a new Bronco, they give you the option to take this free class. And we're staying here where they host it at Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab. <laughs> We started out with an orientation and an introduction to our instructors. Our instructor was Tim. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. We broke into groups of six Broncos and we headed out at about 9 a.m. to the trailhead of Dome Plateau. Each section of the trail gave the drivers the opportunity to use a different feature on the Bronco. This is an example of using the roll pitch angle. Getting the Bronco at a 21% angle definitely had some pucker factor. That does feel uncomfortable. Yes, that's because you're human and we're not supposed to lean sideways. This is the worst I've ever been. 20%. Well, that's the game. 20%. It will actually go a bit more. Because your, your passenger side now is on a, will actually climb up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So go on, keep on going. So that's a nice, smooth, slow, and puts both hands on the wheel. That's it. Keep going, keep going. So that's probably a little bit more now. What's it say? 21. Yeah, there you go. I've read that some of the owners have pushed to more than a 25% plus angle. Bob had wanted to learn how to use the sway bar disconnect, and this course didn't disappoint. Tim demonstrated how the rear lockers were used on the incline. The tighter radius of the rear wheels, yeah, and the longer the wheelbase, the bigger the difference. He taught the drivers about goat mode and Baja mode. We spent most of the day driving the four wheel low. So this is where the two door will excel around here because it's shorter. Breathe in, breathe out, hey, come, come. 
Well, we're about halfway through of the Bronco Rodeo class. How do you feel about it, though? I've had a blast so far. Have you? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Part of the trail took us over a slick rock surface. Halfway through, we stopped for a picnic lunch that was provided by the Bronco Rodeo class. We stopped here for lunch. We had a beautiful view. There was a spread of lunch meats and cheeses, vegetables, chips, and cookies. A water cooler was in the back of one of the Broncos to fill up our water bottles. There were also dinosaur tracks on the slick rock by where we stopped. And by the way, it is the best sense of cheating to have an identical vehicle and an identical wheelbase in front of you to learn from. That's very, very unrealistic, but it is very useful. <laughs> Body okay? Yeah, when you get down the bottom here guys, back into drive. And the reason for that, we don't want to climb in a low gear because uh, that's lots of torque to the wheels and that's a, re that's a recipe for wheel spin. And you don't have, obviously, because we're in this tight turn, we don't have a great deal of momentum to, to overcome that lack of grip. Uh, and also there's more resistance when the vehicle's turning anyway. Again, what we should be doing is prioritizing um, prioritizing ramps over ledges. So clearly, this is a steep old ledge. Now, someone has put rocks here to turn it into a into a ramp. Soon, we were able to pick up speed over the red clay dirt. They're what we would now call creepy weird aliens with big heads and staffs. Can you see it, see people? I can see it. 
Daddy, what's your head? Head? What is it? I see the water. Water seeping through. Oh, yeah. The water's running down yeah, in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water. Coming out the right out of the wall there. We made our way back to the highway and back to Bronco Base Camp about 5 p.m. Take off now and don't look back, but 